being honest in the moment. I feel like a lot of us musicians, depending on the environment and who we're around, we feel like there's this pressure to prove what we can do. There's always this pressure to prove, especially given the right set of circumstances and the right group of people watching and paying attention to you. You feel like you have to prove something as a musician. Well, I don't if I play this, it might sound too safe. Or if I play a simple pentatonic scale, the person listening might think that's all I know how to do. And it's like I've gotten to this point where. I don't need to prove my vocabulary to you. If this is what I'm hearing in this moment, if it's just a Mary Had a Little Lamb melody that works over this song and that's what I'm hearing, well, I'll be honest to that melody, not try to prove a point that I can play all of this crazy stuff in this song just so you'll know that I have the chops to do it. Because when I'm doing that, once again, I'm becoming something that I think you want me to be instead of being honest with myself in that moment. I was playing this groove Let's go back to this groove really quick. I wasn't hearing a lot of stuff over this groove. It's really, really simple stuff that I'm playing. A lot of it is just, you know, major scales, some arpeggios where I'm going through chords, but it's really simple stuff. It's not a lot of complicated stuff that I'm playing. Simple minor groove, I can think of it in a minor sense or major sense. Either way, I can get away with whatever I want to play. So I'm playing like this, playing off of these um, B major ideas. That's it. Maybe add a little accidentals in there every now and again. I mean, a little bit more than accidentals. But whatever I'm hearing, just being honest to that, I don't have to prove anything and, and play 100 miles per hour just to prove to somebody, oh, I can do this. I do, I do have the chops. But I feel like due to social media and the things we see and the things we're exposed to every day, there's this pressure to perform pressure to perform somebody can write that down <laughs> there's this pressure to perform because we feel the need uh if people are going to respect me if they're going to value what i have to say then it must sound something like what this person did or something like what that person did that comparison syndrome where you start measuring yourself up against something somebody else said and there's something to be said about someone who knows and i i, I listen to singers i listen to really really great singers and uh this is something that I think I took from my mom listening to singers. There are some singers that you hear them and they sing with so much conviction, you know that they know what they're singing about. And then there are some singers who are phenomenally gifted. They're super talented. They can rip and run. I mean, just and until they sing your ears off a whole bunch of riffs, a whole bunch of runs. But there's no conviction, which means you feel nothing when you hear them. There's nothing there. It's like it's empty. You have nothing to say. Like, I hear what you're saying, but I can tell you don't know what you're singing about. Especially in gospel music. We know gospel music is full of so much feeling, conviction, soul, all that kind of stuff that you can tell if a person is singing a song about something that they went through. Even if they didn't write the song, they identify with the lyrics of the song. So when they sing it and they can sing one note in the way they well that one note, it's like, all right, she know what she talking about. Or uh, he didn't been through that thing he talked about. He ain't just singing about something. He knows what he's talking about. Now, if singers can do that and convey that, why aren't we doing it as musicians? Well, granted, all of us are musicians, but musicians who are playing these instruments, why are we not conveying that same thing when we play? Why, why is it not coming across um, your struggles? Being honest, being really honest. I had a rough week this week. I'm not going to take it out on the music, but I am going to let it come through me in terms of I don't and what I'm let me be clear when I say that not projecting your bad week on anybody, but playing through that pain, pushing through it, using it as fuel to say what you want to say, meaning adding some conviction to what it is you're trying to do. I had a rough week, but I got through it. You know, what I'm saying that kind of thing and, and allowing that to come through where people hear your voice more than they hear your technique.